my uh, number one thing would be uh, green bean casserole. Bake it. Then on the stove, it's arroz con gandules, so it's rice with uh, pigeon peas. I need to have sweet potato casserole. Green bean casserole. Get your green beans, get the cream of uh, whatever soup and stir it in there. Put some fried onions on top, bake it. And we have ham because they all know that I like ham. The really sweet kind with like all of the crusted cinnamon and brown sugar and as many marshmallows as I can pack on top of that casserole and get them browned up so it's almost kind of like a sweet potatoes s'mores casserole. The sweeter, the better. We have benin, which is pork shoulder, so we never usually have a turkey. It's now recently that we have a turkey, but I don't really like turkey anyway. You don't even have to cook anything else, really. Just give me the, the green bean casserole. And if I don't have sweet potatoes, I can't eat turkey. And a napkin. And a big spoon. It depends. I guess it would be one of two things. One would be the uh, kilted Thanksgiving. So we have all the traditional foods that all my other friends would have, but uh, instead, it's just it just changes every single year. Like when I was younger, we had two Thanksgivings because I would go to my mom's side, then my dad's side, and no, they're not separated, they just never mix the families. Okay, so we make this cream corn, like cornbread casserole. We call it cornucopia. Where I wear. <laughs> You're shaking your head no. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> You've never been there. Yes. <laughs> um, and then now my grandmother lives in a smaller apartment in the Bronx. So it's literally like 15 of us in a really, really, really small one bedroom apartment. So we have everyone cramped in the kitchen slash dining room, I guess you could say. And then in the living room is my uncle Pipe who basically is blasting Spanish music while also watching a movie and he will sit right next to you and ask you to help him with his iPhone. I wear my family's Scottish kilt and I make my boys wear theirs. Karen, she's wife Karen, she's only family by marriage so she just wears jeans. But um, I would say, you know, probably that. So any actual traditions? No, because it's different every single year, but always entertaining. Oh, and we have this other dish that is essentially, um, I call it monkey goo because my dad and I, when my mom made it for the first time when I was a kid, we thought that's exactly what we thought it looked like, like something a monkey would pick up and like chuck at you, uh, which is essentially broccoli and cheese, but like the top of the florets diced really thin. Um, so it's almost like a broccoli, kind of hot coleslaw, but it's cheesy and it's gooey, which is how we came up with monkey goo. We wear our kilts at Thanksgiving, at the table. And the big um, black olives, the big with the hole in the middle, with the pitted, the jumbo. Um, I did it when I was a kid and used to run around the table and I still do it to this day, just because my family expects me to. I put one on each finger and go like this, like I had black olive monster fingers. And I run around the table and I chase everybody with it. We manspread, also. But I mean, there's a, there's a tablecloth at the table so you really can't see anything unless you're you know, looking for it. Good cell phone service. What? Wi-Fi. Why? Wi-Fi. Why am I? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, yes. No, I'm kidding. It's amazing when there is calm, peace, and serenity in your life, and like all of the people are getting along. I'm most thankful for this Thanksgiving that all cell phone companies are great now. And that guy from who used to be with Verizon, he's now with Sprint, what's his name? Verizon guy. That guy. Yeah, Paul, yeah, I'm thankful for him because if it wasn't for him, I would be paying a lot more for my cell phone service. I'm usually thankful for the same thing every year. My friends and family, I'm very boring, but I like to spend Thanksgiving every single year 
with my family, and then afterwards I go to my best friend's house. So whoever is in my life and whoever I have encountered this year, that's what I'm thankful for. Things are moving in the right direction, like forward momentum. I'm glad for that this year. Oh, and <laughs> highlighter. No. Highlighter. So if it wasn't for him, Paul? Yeah, that guy. Glasses and the black jacket. He's now wearing a yellow shirt. Yeah. That's what I'm thankful for.